welcome back to YouTube. It's Universe X. And uh, what would Universe X be, if, at least in this meta, the past couple metas, without uh, talking about Dark Broly? You feel me? So, um, with cards coming out in Supreme Rivalry, we've seen a whole lot of stuff that uh, looks like it could go in the deck, looks maybe questionable, definitely looks like it goes in the deck. So, um, I just want to kind of speak on that because I've been doing a lot of Dark Broly content and uh, I've been seeing some wild posts. So, uh, before we jump right into that, just want to let you guys know, if you like the content, think about hitting that subscribe button, growing the community that is Universe X. We've got a Discord, link will be in the description. Um, posting more on things like Twitter, if you're into Twitter, I'm barely into Twitter, but sometimes it's fun. That's kind of where my gotcha stuff goes. Uh, you know, like Dragon Ball Legends and other stuff. Um, but, we're gonna get into this conversation, and uh, I'll try to keep the video kind of short, it's kind of sweet, not really go too far into any card but JK because if I like the card and I feel their merits we're gonna go into it so uh, the first card I'm gonna put up is uh, one of the ones where I saw somebody post and if this is you I apologize but you're like somebody was like dark Broly support for sure that's SS Force on Goku thwarting the Dark Empire bruh <laughs> bruh yes it's a black battle card Yes, it's 30,000, but I want you to look at two keywords on this card, Overrealm and Blocker. Now, hear me out. For anybody that's looking at this Goku like, mm, yes. Overrealm leaves at the end of your turn. Blocker specifically needs this card to be there on your opponent's turn. This does not mesh in but a few circumstances. One of them is the new Supreme Kai leader who can crit herself to make your overarm stay on the field. That is where this card belongs. Not, 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 not in Dark Broly. This is, this is not the way. If you play this against me in Dark Broly, I'm gonna look at you. And you can swing with me and get an attack off. That's, that's kind of cool. But when it leaves your field, You've essentially traded six cards in your grave for a 30k swing, and you've drawn one card. So it's floated itself. All right, that's not awful, but it's just, this doesn't do anything for the deck. You played a card, it drew you a card. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I don't know about all that, Chief. <laughs> so we're going to move on to the very next one, um, which is SS4 Vegeta, Thwarting the Dark Empire. Okay, this one has some more promise. It's critical. It's overall six for one. Keep in mind, the Goku is free. This guy says, when this card attacks, choose any number of your opponent's battle cards, add up to a total energy cost of four or less, and send them to their owner's works. All right. So here are the things that we need to go over here. It is black, yes. It is a 30K, yes. So this automatically is going to warrant you looking at the card. But the next part you're gonna look at is the critical. Yes, Broly has to hit people a total of eight times maximum of course I mean sometimes you're throwing some chompas in the mix but and you know your opponent can also just self awaken but the point is you're hitting single strikes most of your swings in dark early until you decide to use your one or two chompas but this guy has critical the other things you need to understand though is that he cost one now Broly is generally going to work with usually you're closing games out four, sometimes even three energy Games can drag on if the deck has enough defense, but um, this guy costs one. So there's the first couple things. He also warps something, you know, warps cards that add up. And I know people are saying, okay, well this guy can do some work on a boonie. But the answer is yes. Um, he can clap a boonie and all of his tokens at the same time, but you guys should know if you play Dark Broly enough, when you play against a blue deck, if they're a in you and you don't have something like Protector of the People or Tenacious already in effect, you're probably losing a lot of your hand because their board's about to go mad wide. A boonie, three tokens, their leader swing, minimum. That's five attacks minimum you have to combo out of or negate. Um, and the worst part about your opponent hitting you with a boonie is that if they're, again, blue and they're playing well, they're holding every boonie they can because a boonie into the top of your deck is most likely hitting, so they're gonna be able to untap, and they're gonna be able to pressure you with things that tie your leader, or in Abuni's case, go higher than your leader. 
chances are you play this guy, you pay one to overwhelm six, warp all their stuff, get a swing for critical. It may not land, and they're probably gonna follow you up with another boonie. Like, this guy is not necessarily your champion, especially when Black Mask Sand, or not Black Mask Sand, sorry, uh, Secret Identity is the same removal for free. He just doesn't have crit, and he's not 3k. But you know what? 25k removal for free is, I think, better than this guy, who has a smaller cap, cost one, and it's just, that's, that's kind of rough. Um, you also can look at the things that you're paying one energy for. You're paying one energy for your Dark Broly, okay? You're paying one energy for your Tenacious. Between one drop Broly and Tenacious, I feel like those are much more valuable plays. You're Kai if you have it, uh, than playing this guy for one energy. You gotta look at what you're using. Um, it's just kind of rough. I mean, when we look at the, uh, the blocker, once again, when we look at the blocker, it's kind of wild because it's a free blocker on the Goku, but we already have a free six drop overall, and that's Brainwash No More. While Brainwash No More is expensive, this video isn't about whether or not you can get your hands on the cards, because if you can't, you're always gonna have to have to search for alternatives, and maybe some of these cards can be looked at at this point. But um, Brainwash No More is able to come out for free, refund half his cost, and in hand, he can save you from a shotgun. So this is actually a very, very important thing, I think. Um, moving on to the next card, we've got Demogra Momentary Ally. No. <laughs> no. Like, no. Um, Demogra Momentary Ally, he's a unison, okay? Uh, auto once per turn, burst one. If your leader card is a black sand only or god card only card, when you play a battle card using overall, this card gains a wormhole for the turn. Um, plus one, activate main, place up to two battle cards from your warp to your drop area, and then um, plus three. You know, you activate main out of two battle cards with energy cost seven or less and overwhelm skill from warp to your hand. Okay, so the seven or less, his ult is going to be able to work very well in a dark world deck. You'll be able to get any of your overwhelms, because chances are most of your overwhelms are six. Facts, how it is. Um, his auto, the burst one is kind of cool, but the thing is, in a dark Broly deck, you're not really running gajillion overwhelms. You got your Tenacious, you might have uh, Identity. I know I personally like Supreme Kai times Choice, depending on which format I'm in, but um, the issue here is that in dark Broly, you will never really be able to capitalize off the Wormhole. You remove six, you play your card, cool. This card gets Wormhole. And then, you know, you could plus one, put two back, leader skill, put three back, that's five. But what five cost overwhelms are we using? Dimmerga is one of them, so you could free and Dimmerga in the same turn, but you burned a fair amount of cards and you played a fair amount of things, but the only other thing is you also invested in this unison. Um, this is another card that's made for Kai. And you know what, if Broly can get a more unison, well, a more overall based build, hey, by all means, show me the sauce. But I just feel like this is going out of your way to do something the deck doesn't need to do, and that's produce multiple overwhelms a turn. It can be nice, but you have to really strain the graveyard. Now, in a build that maybe has more overwhelm, um, maybe you run some gravies, yeah, but I think at that point you might as well be running high. You're playing Dark Broly for the Dark Broly, so 30k bodies that come out for free. So this card is kind of just, it's, it's not really Broly support. Now we're going to start moving on to cards that look like... <laughs> They could be Broly support, um, I guess to some people. We're going to start with King Vegeta, A Kingdom Lost, all right? Unique Double Strike Barrier. When your card is played, when this card is played, choose up to one card in your opponent's hand and up to one card in your opponent's, or battle cards, in, uh, and yeah, and it's into the warp. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. Auto once per turn, when this card is in rest mode, your opponent attacks the leader card. Your opponent must choose one card in their hand and send it to the warp. Activate main, two black. Your opponent has three or more cards in their warp. Play this card from your hand. Okay. So... People are saying this somehow fits into Dark Broly. Okay, it's black, yes. Um, but uh, this card doesn't, it, uh, you can't reveal it off your top. And it's a two drop. Now, the thing about two drops is you also have to compare your two drops to your two drops. What costs two energy in your deck that you would play, you would rather play this over, okay? And uh, the answer for me, at least, is not much. Two energy is Mech Gavora. Yeah. I'd rather play Mecha Gabor and try to cut my opponent's best play off than to play a 19k double striker that is only 19k. So in the mirror, when your opponent swings on it, it's they're going to die. This card is going to die. You can't protect this card well enough in a Dark Broly deck because some of your cards are just zero combo cost to non-leaders. So, all right, 
you got Becky Gabor, um, you got evolving into the Red Broly, and uh, I can say this for a fact, there's more and more ways to manipulate your opponent's drop or field so they, they have to crit themselves. Um, and if they don't want to crit themselves, they got to get rid of stuff anyway. Sometimes you can turn this into a removal spell, but that Red Broly is going to provide an extra swing plus crit damage. That's, that's a lot. Like, I'd rather play that over this two energy. Um, you have Demigra. Yeah, I mean, Demigra will come down, blow up a card in the field. I'm going to draw to replace him, and when he swings, he negs my opponent. He's the best checker for things like Nimbus, for things like Violent Rays, because your opponent has to neg three. They have to play the negate, discard a card, and drop a card to the warp for Demigra's effect. So I'd rather play Demigra than King Vegeta as well. Um, it just, the list kind of goes on. You can even split it into split plays. I could play King Vegeta, Kingdom Lost, or I could play Broly One Ball, or Broly One Drop, Ball It, and then still have enough energy to use Tenacious so my opponent can't swing for game next turn, hopefully. Yeah, there's a whole lot of things that I would rather use my two energy for than this card, and I think that's kind of enough of why I don't want to play it. Next, we have got Gotenks. Um, this is Gotenks. Yeah, we've got Gotenks Fusion Renewed. Uh, blocker, counterattack, send three cards from a drop barrier to your warp, negate the attack, and play this card permanent. If you have a battle card with energy cost of six or, or six in play, and it's your opponent's turn, reduce the cost of this card in your hand by one. Should have been two. Uh, when this card attacks, place up to three black battle cards from your warp into your drop barrier, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, energy cost of three or less, send it to someone's warp. This card is kind of weird. I think in a slower format, this can be really, really cute. Um, for Dark Broly, like, it negates attack and it comes in as a blocker. And if they don't kill it, you will be able to swing and refund its graveyard cost. But the real, just, value comes from if this guy survives at the next turn. Because if he does, you'll be able to swing and he's like a thicker gravy. He swings and he puts three back from your warp to your drop. That being said, that's not what this guy's supposed to be used for. Um, but at the same time, he's a 15, so chances are your opponent will just swing their leader into it. So I think he could have some really funny functions. However, I also think that he's just not really long for the field, and it's he's, he's costly. If it was one energy, it'd be a lot easier just to think about slotting this in and testing it. But two energy, again, is a lot. How often in Dark World do you just have two energy lying in wait? It's not often. No. This is uh, the TP SS4 Vegeta Fiend uh, Feign Greeting. Uh, Overrun 6, but it's free. That's automatically good. So we've got Overrun 6 for free. We've got 30k. We've got, uh, you know, he's black. This is automatically the three just boxes I want to see checked off when it comes to cards that we can put in Broly. However, when this card is played using Overrun, your opponent chooses one card in their hand and sends it to their work. This is a very, very situational. I can't explain that. Um, think about all the times you hit somebody with um, Ravager, and sometimes Ravager seems like, wow, I, I took up one card out of 13, this feels mid. Sometimes Ravager takes a single card out of three cards, and it feels good. Sometimes your opponent has zero cards in hand, you swing life into their hand, and you play Ravager, and you take away that card they just got before they even have a chance to play their combo with it, and that feels great. This card is just one of those cards where... It's over on six, and it does something in your deck that is already done. And so you gotta kind of have to worry about, you know, the validity of adding more cards. Would you add more Ravengers if you could? Probably not, all right? So this is kind of just like that. It's a free overrun, but we have free overruns like Brainwash No More that just kind of do better things. And to be honest, like this guy doesn't do enough to kind of gain a slot, I feel like in most cases. Like in most cases, they're discarding one card from your opponent's hand and swinging for 30K to give them back that card if they don't swing um, or if they don't block it or, you know, it just kind of feels like it's not necessarily enough. Um, moving to the very next one. This is uh, probably one of my favorites. Supreme Kai of Time, Labyrinth Unleashed, or Time Labyrinth Unleashed, woof. Counter attack, negate the attack and play this card. Permit, if you or your opponent have three or more cards in their warp, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by two, bring it to a one drop. That's juicy. Auto, if your leader card is black, when this card is played using its counter attack skill, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and send it to the owner's warp. At the end of the turn, play as many card, or play any card sent to the warp 
by the skill to their owner's battle areas with their skills negated for one turn. Okay, this is what we call the sauce. Um, as soon as you activate a single Dark Broly, this card is locked. And then even if you activate a Dark Broly and you only have six out and you somehow get awakened that turn, you plus your or you use your leader effect to put three back, you still have this as live. Now, this card is amazing because Dark Broly has issues deflecting wide aggression. And this really kind of puts a nice little cap on that. Um, you know, you play Supreme Kai, Time Labyrinth Unleashed, and you negate an attack, and then you banish or you warp a battle card. That's two attacks, by the way. You negated one, you warped one. And now you have a 5k on board to throw onto your leader if they try to swing at you again. This card does so much for one energy. And uh, I'm actually just really, really, really loving it. The, oof, like I just, I just can't. Like there's so much that's just good about this card. Um, and so I, I personally like it a lot. It's in a gate that technically stops two attacks unless everything's got barrier. And on top of stopping those two attacks, it's actually going to become combo power. And even if you don't use it, it can't be dead in your hand. If you're tapped out, it's still 5k combo. But if you're not tapped out, it's a savage negate. I think this is just kind of amazing. Um, I think this card is actually busted. Um, low key broken. Like, ah, uh, I love it. I love it so much. So I'm excited to get my hands on a couple of these and test them out in Dark Broly because so far, it's already kind of made me feel a little safer in my, uh, the testing I've done so far. Um, then the last card, we're not going to dwell on this much, Dark Broly the Vindicator. I have an entire video talking about this card, so I'm just going to leave that link in the description. But um, no, you don't really need to play him more than two, because um, he needs to come into play at what should be the start of a Dark Broly's late game. When your opponent has three energy, yeah, you should be fairly progressing at that point. But he is monsters. He's a momentum dog. Like, he, he is momentum. Um, and then on top of that, he is able to go into the red or cause momentum. I mean, either way, they're both momentum. Whether you put another dark body, their dark rolly body in uh, play by using his effect and maybe getting one more engrave or popping him with the leader activate, or you uh, bring out the red and he's under it, so the red's gonna get its effect to uh, go crazy. I think either way, you're in for a pretty good time. This guy's a momentum monster. So that is a that. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, I just want to know, or at least put it out there, what cards I think are going to fit in Dark Broly, which cards have no business being in Dark Broly, and um, you let me know in the comments how you guys feel. So thank you for the time. Thank you for the view. Like I said, if you like the content, hit that subscribe button, that notification button, and you'll keep getting it.